Eight things that women do that turn men on. Have you ever wondered what are the things that turn us men on? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you eight things that women do that do turn men on so that you can stoke his fire and provoke the reaction that you're looking for. Hi everybody, I'm Kevin Anthony with Magnetize Your Man and I am a certified sexologist, tantra counselor, NLP practitioner, and sex, love, and relationship coach. And for over 10 years, I have been helping men, women, and couples have the relationship of their dreams and the best sex of their lives. So let's dive into this topic. All right, before I get into the list of eight things, there are a couple of things that I have to talk about. One thing that I hear all the time from women is that their men are no longer interested. Like they don't seem to really notice them when they walk across the room or they're not giving them the attention. I hear it from clients. I see it in the comments. And so doing the things that I'm going to talk about in this video are really going to help shift that. Next, these eight things are going to create what my wife Selena and I have coined the constant state of arousal, doing little things day in and day out that help stoke that fire and raise your desire. And one last point that I have to mention before I get into the eight things. Some of these things, when you hear them, you're going to say, oh, but if I did that, he would do this. And there are things that maybe you don't necessarily want him to do. So I have to put the disclaimer up front that for some of these to really work the way they're intended to work, you need to have a conversation with your man about it, right? And you'll understand what I mean as I get into the eight things. Okay, number one thing that women do that turns men on, and it's number one in the list, but they're not in any particular order. Walk around in your panties. This is a huge turn on for men. My wife used to do this all the time on purpose. She would put on sexy underwear and she would just go walk past me, not say a word, just walk past me. And believe me, I noticed. And every time I saw her do that, I wanted to chase her across the room. Now, a couple of things here. I mentioned a moment ago how you have to have a conversation first. Here's what I mean by that. There are things that you will do to turn him on that he has to understand don't necessarily mean you're going to have sex right then and there. If you want to create that constant state of arousal, if you want to stoke that fire, then you do these things, but it doesn't necessarily mean, oh, we're going to have sex. It'll make even more sense when I get to some of the other things on the list, but just know that just because you walked by in your panties doesn't necessarily mean that you are inviting him into the bedroom in that moment. Now you can, that's perfectly fine, but it doesn't necessarily mean that and your man needs to understand that. Another thing about walking around the house in your panties, put some sexy panties on. Now I understand ladies, I know, I hear this from ladies all the time. There are the underwear that's comfortable to wear and the underwear that's really sexy. And while there is sometimes overlap between the two, not always, right? So some of you are saying, oh, why should I have to wear those uncomfortable underwear? You don't have to. You don't have to wear them all day long. Put them on, walk across the house, you know, have them on for an hour, whatever. But having really sexy underwear and walking around in them is a big turn on for men. Okay, number two, and since we're on the topic of panties, leave them laying around the house. Now this might be a little tricky if you have kids, but if you don't, uh, try leaving them around. This is another thing that my wife used to do all the time that really, really turned me on. She would absolutely take the sexiest underwear or lingerie she had and just leave it laying around. Hang it on the coat rack in the, in the uh, entryway or leave it on the bed or leave it on my chair. Little things like that. They were an absolute tease and they were fantastic. All right, number three, pretty much a no brainer. Grab his crotch. You're walking by him, just grab his crotch. You come in close for a good kiss, grab his crotch. 
He will absolutely love that and it will absolutely turn him on. Now, this is another one of those ones where he has to understand that just because you grabbed his crotch does not mean that you're necessarily going to pull his pants down and give him a blowjob or, you know, drag him into the bedroom. You may, and that's great, but it doesn't have to mean that. Remember, these are things that you are doing to turn him on, to stoke his fire, to create desire for you. All right, number four appreciate him. I, and this has nothing to do with sex or not necessarily anyway, but appreciating us, noticing, recognizing, and talking about how out, out loud that is about the things that you appreciate about us, whether it's little things like, I'm so glad that you remember to take the trash out and that you every week you're really on that. I really appreciate that. It could be things like that. It could be the way he looks. It could be all sorts of things. But the opposite of the complaining nagging, which is a big turnoff to men, is the appreciating and the complimenting. So the more you do that, the more he's going to be turned on because the more love he's going to feel for you. Number five is dress nicely. There was a meme years ago that somebody created that my wife used to use all the time. And there were two pains in it. And in the first pain, there was a woman and she was dressed with this really nice dress on and her hair was done and her makeup was done and she looked great. And it said, this is how I dress for complete strangers. And that was indicating how she would dress if she was going outside of the house. In the second pane, she was wearing the baggy sweats and her hair was a mess and you know she really was not done. And it said, this is how I dress for the one I love. Now, before you start complaining, I'm not saying that you shouldn't ever wear the baggy sweats, the comfy things that you want to lounge around in. That's perfectly fine. But from, at least from time to time, dress nicely. My wife and I worked from home all the years that we were together. And every day we would still shower, you know, do our hair, put on some nice clothes for each other. There's a little bit more to it than that as well. And it's kind of sort of a business mindset, sort of Tony Robbins kind of thing about dressing for the part. But part of it was that we wanted to look nice for each other. So if you want to turn a man on, wear something really nice. Do your hair. Look beautiful. Seduce him with that. It will absolutely work. All right, number six is spontaneous blowjobs. You're probably sensing a theme throughout the videos that I have been doing for Magnetize Your Man. Somehow blowjobs always show up on the list. Why? Because men love them. They just do. I'm, they, we just do. And it, there, it's going to show up on a lot of lists. There's no avoiding that. But the idea of sort of spontaneous blowjobs, you want to turn him on just like we talked about with grabbing his crotch, you know, just in the kitchen, maybe pull his pants down, give him a little 30 second minute, couple of minute blowjob. Now, remember what we talked about in the beginning of this video. This only works if he understands that you don't have to finish him, right? So if any guy's telling you, oh, you, now you got me started, now you got to finish me, that is complete nonsense and he's going to need some retraining. If your man says that to you, please send him my way. Send him to my coaching program because we've got some work to do. But just those little spontaneous things like that will absolutely stoke our fire, will turn us on tremendously and will make us crave you. Number seven is be feminine. It's an interesting world that we live in today. Uh, roles get kind of flipped around all over the place. But at the end of the day, women like masculine men and men like feminine women. And if you really want to turn us on, embracing, embodying your feminine energy is a great way to do that. When you really show up from your feminine receiving energy, it is a massive turn on for us men. When you show up in your sort of masculine competing energy, it's actually a big turn off for us. So think of ways that you can embody your femininity, really embrace it. It's a beautiful, magical, wonderful, amazing, and powerful thing. Use it to your advantage. And lastly, kiss him passionately. Just walk up to him, push your body up against him, maybe grab his crotch at the same time and give him a big passionate kiss. 
Show him that you are interested in him and that you are turned on by him. And that in turn will turn him on. So there you go. Those are eight things that women do that turn men on. If you can do these things on at least a somewhat regular basis, you will stoke that fire. You will create that constant state of arousal and you will leave him turned on, which is really what you want. You want a turned on man in your life. Next, if you'd like to hear more from me, you can follow me right here on YouTube at Kevin and Celine. You can also listen to the Love Lab podcast on all major podcast platforms, as well as right here on my YouTube channel. And lastly, you can go to my website, kevinandceline.com forward slash vault to sign up for a free library of sex, love, and relationship material. It's great stuff. Make sure that you check that out. And lastly, I hope that this was valuable for you, and I will see you soon.